Hi there, I'm Jessica Miller and today I am staying at home. I think probably a lot of you guys are staying at home as well. Um, one thing that's kind of nice about staying at home is that you have a lot more time to read stories and write stories. And one thing that I have a little bit of time to do is tell you about a story that I wrote, which is called The Republic of Birds. Here it is. Um, the coolest thing about this book, I think, is the cover. I'll show you. It's, look, it's all sparkly and beautiful. So I love that. And the other thing that I think is super cool about this book is, let me show you. When you open it up, there's a map. I don't know about you, but my favorite stories always have a map at the front. Um, books that I loved when I was little, like um, The Hobbit or Rowan of Rin or A Wizard of Earthsea, um, all had these beautiful maps at the start. And I just love to look at them and think, where is this story going to take me? So it was really cool to write a book um, that in the end had a map at the front. So I'll tell you a little bit about the story as well. Um, it's the story about a land that's been divided by war. So it's now in the human kingdom and the Republic of France, which is where I got the title from. Um, and it's a story about a girl whose family are exiled from the capital city to the border of the Republic of Birds. Um, and the Republic of Birds is a place where there's a lot of magic, uh, but it's also very dangerous and mysterious. And then of course, I don't think it's giving too much away to say that the main character, Olga, has to make a journey into the Republic. But that's all I'll tell you for now. I'm gonna read a little bit from it. This is from really close to the beginning. This is just after Olga and her family have been sent into exile. And they are traveling to their new home in the borderlands and they're traveling by sled. So a sled pulled by dogs across a frozen river. And they're in the sled where we begin. Oh, I should actually tell you as well. In this story, there are witches uh, and the witches are called Yagas and they live in kind of unusual houses. So, after we pull away from Strezhevoy, I hear snapping sounds from deep inside the belly of the forest. They're soft to begin with, but they quickly grow louder. Soon, it sounds like the splintering of boughs scraped from trees. One or two of the other passengers glance toward the forest, but no one behaves as if this strange noise is anything out of the ordinary, least of all the woman sitting between Mira and me. She stares ahead and chews her onion. Oh, she, yeah, she's having like a weird little snack. She's having an onion. Uh, in a slow, contemplative kind of way. But the noise makes my stomach churn. When I imagine the beast that could possibly make such a sound, I imagine something large, something with fur and claws and teeth. Mira reaches her hand around the back of the onion woman. Mira is Olga's little sister. Uh, her gloved fingers find mine. The noise is getting louder and closer. Behind me, Anastasia smothers a gasp as a wooden hut perched on a pair of pink scaly chicken feet lurches out of the trees. The tiles on its roof are so loose that they ripple in the wind and its walls are stippled with dark green black moss. It's not as fearsome looking as the pictures I've seen in my history books. It doesn't have a fence made of bones for one thing or a fire breathing horse tied to its gatepost. Apart from its chicken feet, it looks almost ordinary in a dilapidated sort of way. But still, there's no mistaking what it is or what's sure to be inside. The hut comes closer and I feel myself prickling all over, with fear certainly, but 
also with a spiky excitement. Am I about to see a real live Yaga? Okay, and I'll leave it there. If you want to find out any more, it's all in the book. Um, yeah, thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day at home. Um, have a nice day, wash your hands. And, um, oh, and if you did want to buy a copy of The Republic of Birds, take a look at your nearest independent bookstore, like Readings, for example. All right. Bye, guys.